Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate a Network Function Virtualization, or NFE, feature, which shows how admins can allocate resources for instances so that the workloads can meet the SLA guarantees. We start at the vSphere web client and click on VMware Integrated OpenStack plugin. Next, under Summary tab, we ensure whether it is running on version 2.0 or above. The OpenStack management server on this vCenter server is of version 2.0. We move on to hosts and clusters. Here, we have three clusters, named Compute Cluster, Edge Cluster, and Management Cluster. Click on Compute Cluster. Here, we will ensure that the Compute Cluster has sufficient resources. We navigate to the Networking view and select the VDS used for OpenStack Network and was a part of NSX XVLAN configuration. Under the Summary tab, ensure that Network I.O. Control version 3 is enabled. We then click on the Manage tab of the VDS and ensure sufficient capacity is allocated to the VM traffic. In this example, 500 megabytes per second per uplink has been configured. This is required for allocating resources on vNix. Next, we will switch to the OpenStack Horizon page and log in as an administrator. There are two options available for admin to configure resource values. First, using image metadata, and then using flavor extra specs. When both are configured, image metadata takes priority over flavor. First, we will move to the images section and show how to use image metadata. Let us click on the drop down menu under Edit Image and click Update Metadata. As you can see, there are many available metadata options listed. We choose a metadata named VMware Quota. Clicking this plus sign next to this option, we'll move the items with their available properties from left to right. Notice that there are properties available to configure CPU limit, reservation, shares level, shares, and similar options for memory, disk, and VIF as well. More details can be checked by clicking each property. Let us close this page and switch to the flavor section. Next, we will create a new flavor. In this demo, we will name it m1.small.qos to differentiate it from the existing small flavors. Enter the rest of the fields and click Create Flavor. Notice that a new flavor has been created. We click the drop down menu under Edit Flavor and click Update Metadata. Select few options under VMware Quota Namespace for the purpose of this demo. Enter the reservation values for CPU, disk, memory, and VIF, and click Save. Metadata has been successfully updated. Next, we will sign out of the admin account and log in as a tenant user. Under the Project section, click on Images and launch an instance using this image. In this page, we will specify the details for launching an instance. We will start with naming it as QOS Demo. Select the new flavor created with Resource Allocation and click the Launch button. After a few seconds, notice that a new instance is launched. Once the instance's status is active, we will switch back to the vSphere client and select the new VM QoS demo. Let us move to the Summary tab. Here, we will expand CPU under VM Hardware section and observe that the resource allocation values, especially reservation, have been configured automatically. Similarly, we can observe that the memory VIF reservation values are configured. Next, we will select a VM that was already created without any resource allocation. Here, observe that the values are not configured and set to default. Again, we navigate back to the Horizon page and select the instance with no resource allocation. We will now demonstrate how to configure or change resource allocation for existing instances. Under the Actions menu, we click on Resize Instance. For the new flavor, we will select the flavor which has the resource allocation properties already set and click on Resize. Once resizing is done, we will switch to the vSphere web client 
and validate that the resources are configured as per the new flavor. After validation, we will switch back to the Horizon page and click Confirm Resize Migrate. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack feature demonstration. Thank you.